Will Justice Colin Lawrence secure a call for Najib Razak to enter his defense in the 1MDB corruption case which began 5 years ago? The question will be answered tomorrow following 12 days of oral submissions from both the prosecution and defense after the prosecution closed its case in May having called 50 witnesses over 235 days of hearings. Speaking to FMT, Lawyer A. Sri Murugan said the trial judge needs to find clear proof of abuse of power to call Najib to rebut the charges, or else he will be acquitted. Additionally, he said if the prosecution fails to establish a prima facie case, the 21 money laundering charges would also be dismissed. Separately, Lawyer Baljit Singh Sidhu said Najib's recent public apology was irrelevant to the trial as it is only a political statement. Najib faces 25 counts of money laundering and abuse of power with allegations from former lead prosecutor Gopal Sri Ram that he used his influence to conduct hasty irregular transactions through 1MDB for personal gain, aided by fugitive businessman Lote Jo, better known as Jo Lo. Former 1MDB chairman Bakke Saleh, Najib's ex-special officer Amhari Effendi Nazaruddin, then second finance minister Ahmad Husni Hanadla, and former Bank Negara Governor Zedi Akhtar Aziz testified about Najib's alleged control over 1MDB. However, Najib's lead counsel Shafi Abdullah said the prosecution had not been able to establish a prima facie case as key witnesses were unreliable, asserting that decisions were made by the board and Joe Lo without Najib's knowledge. Shafi also said Najib genuinely believed funds in his accounts were donations from an Arab royal family.